inspection, Wilfred Hone. Um, we're going to learn about how the poet uses dialogue and creates, to create an interesting and revealing poem here. Learn a bit about irony and about structure, poetic structure. Read the poem to yourself first of all, or out aloud. It really works uh, as a dramatic poem and reading it aloud does help. You! What do you mean by this? I rapped. How dare you come on parade like this? Please, sir, it's... Hold your mouth! The sergeant snapped. I takes his name, sir. Please, and then dismiss. So we have a very dramatic opening of a parade uh, where the, po the poet is actually an officer inspecting um, soldiers on a parade and um, is very cross at um, someone who's scruffy and not looking suitable. Okay, and we'll learn about this in the next verse. The sergeant is the assistant to the officer and will be often of working class background um, and the officer will be posher. And so Owen was an officer and this is very much based on his own experience. Look at the parade here, this is the First World War um, parade. Some days confined to camp he got for being dirty on parade. He told me afterwards the damn spot was blood, his own. But blood is dirt, I said. Um, interesting. So the man is uh, bleeding, and this is why he's dirty on parade. Um, and the damn spot is a reference to Macbeth, where um, Lady Macbeth, who has been involved in a number of murders, um, feels so guilty about this that she actually starts to see a spot of blood on her hand that isn't there and keeps tr trying to get out rid of the damned spot um, which is a quote from Shakespeare um, and there's an allusion to it here well blood is dirt I said so the poet presents himself as quite unsympathetic towards this um, soldier who is dirty because they are bleeding blood's Dirt, he laughed, looking away far off to where his wound had bled and almost merged forever into clay. The world's washing out its stains, he said. Um, so the um, soldier is uh, very um, bitter about the fact that blood is called dirt um, and watching the blood drain into the ground. And he says, the world is washing out its stains. He, he seems to be a very kind of interesting soldier who's reflecting how um, the world seems to be washing away its blood, its stains. And that's the kind of image that the man uh, says. It doesn't like our cheeks so red. Young blood's its great objection. But when we're duly whitewashed being dead, the race will bear field marshal God's inspection. So the world, um, as in the man-made world, um, seems to be um, really picking on uh, young blood, the youth, and it hates the youth um, and seems determined to have it whitewashed or totally killed. If you're whitewashed, you're just completely beaten um, in a game, aren't you? Um, and then once they're dead, they will, uh, once they're whitewashed, they'll be drained of all blood, all of the youth, and then God will pass the inspection. So the poem starts with um, an ordinary scene of a uh, soldier on parade and then moves to what we call a cosmic scene where God seems to be inspecting the whole of the youth and seems determined to want um, the youth dead. Um, this reflects uh, Owen's own cynicism about um, religion. Um, Owen believed that um, the Christian God uh, was not a, a figure for good um, particularly since uh, people had said in England that they were fighting the war for because God was on their side. And so um, it's important to kind of realise that Owen sees God in a negative way. 
in his poetry. Um, this is Field Marshal Kitchener. He was the most important soldier in the army until his death in 1916. This was just taken off um, shortly before he died. And he was on all the posters calling people to war. So there's a kind of image in this poem of God being Kitchener. God as a field marshal of mankind. Here's a kind of cartoon with this idea in it. You know, that God is uh, someone who checks up on everyone, um, inspects everyone, as uh, we see in this poem. Um, there's a few questions here. They're really important for you to actually try and answer in your annotations or in your books so that you've got a kind of deep sense of what the poem's about. The poem is ironic because, of course, at the end of the poem, um, God will not, re in real life, as Owen sees it, be inspecting any of these people. They'll just be dead. Um, so there's a kind of almost cartoonish and ironic element towards the end of the poem, but it's also deeply sad as well, this idea that, you know, these young people are living in a situation where they will just land up dead, and that's the only time they will pass any sort of real inspection. Um, it's structured uh, quite carefully with alternate rhymes, and it moves from a very kind of ordinary scene to a very cosmic scene. So we've got a kind of sense of the structure of the poem here. Um, think about the irony in the poem. The other ironies in this poem too, the fact that the poet, who seems so unpleasant in the actual poem, is um, actually writing very sympathetically about the soldier who was criticised on parade for being dirty. It has a number of links with other poems, such as The Deadbeat, The Chances, The Letter, um, all heavily ironic and bitter in their tone. And I think what's important to understand here is the bitterness in Owen's poetry that's stronger and angrier than any other poet of the First World War. So annotate your poems and try and think of a creative response to it. And then review it by teaching it to the person.